Welcome to Mike's Man Cave and today we're doing chicken wings using the vortex. That's a small vortex there. I've already preheated it and I've set it up with my normal method. It's got the aluminium foil around the outside. I'll be linking a video in the description box on how to set up your vortex for maximum heat and efficiency. So those videos have been out for a while and they've been reasonably popular. I'll have a link down in the description box. Now today we'll be exploring the myth of having to rotate your lid every 15 minutes or every 20 minutes or whatever it is while cooking chicken wings when using the Vortex. I've seen this come up on barbecue forums again and again where people reckon you have to rotate the lid. And I'm not really sure why. I don't know what purpose or what reasoning these people have and no one has ever been able to give me a reason for it and I've always argued the point saying well there's no need to rotate this is why we've got a kettle okay that is the whole purpose of having a kettle the shape of these things so you don't have to rotate anything you just put the stuff in there close the lid walk away come back 45 minutes to an hour later and you're done no fuss no mess no hassle now that's how I like to barbecue. Okay, barbecuing is not a science experiment. It's supposed to be cooking meat. So um, don't overthink stuff. So we've got the vortex there and we've got the chicken wings all the way around it and we'll put the lid on it and we'll see what happens. Well, here's the lid. My vent's wide open and it is a little bit dusty, but well, I haven't really had a chance to clean it. So we'll now put the lid on it we'll spin it around so that the um, gauge is facing me that's it as you can see the temperature gauge is already going up it's going up quite fast I'm not using any smoking wood in there today simply because I just want the flavor of the rub that's on it which is a chili type rub it hasn't taken long to get up past 200 degrees C, has it? Love the vortex. Okay, so we'll just leave that now and we'll come back in 45 minutes. I'll set a timer, we'll make it 45 minutes. And we'll see if it works without rotating the lid. I still can't figure out why anyone would want to rotate a lid. Like I've got better things to do. The lid's on there now. I'm going to walk away. I'm not even going to look at this barbecue for another 45 minutes. I'm going to go and do other stuff. So I'll see you back here in about 45. Well, it has now been 45 minutes and we will see how our experiment went. Now, my guess is the people that enjoy playing around with their barbecue every 15 minutes I'm not sure why, maybe to make themselves feel important. We'll be very disappointed, that's my guess, to see that these chicken wings are perfectly and evenly cooked without ever having touched this barbecue kettle for the last 45 minutes. Now the temperature seems to have stabilised just below 200 degrees Celsius, which is um, surprisingly low really. Let's not keep you in suspense any longer. Let's lift up the lid and see how we went. Oh, have a look at that. What a surprise. We've got perfectly cooked chicken wings and they have cooked perfectly even. This is the site where the vent was and this is at nine o'clock to the vent. This is at six o'clock to the vent, and that's at three o'clock to the vent. So let's walk right around the kettle, starting with the vent position. This is where the vent was. Now we're heading around towards three o'clock. Now we are at six o'clock, opposite side to the vent. Oh, I'm surprised they're not raw. I'm being sarcastic people. Nine o'clock to the vent. And that's it. Perfectly evenly cooked chicken wings. So if anyone wants to tell you that you need to rotate your vent and mess around with your barbecue endlessly to make yourself feel important, 
you can um, link this video to those people. And if you've got any comments in relation to this, please leave a comment down below. If you can explain to me one single valid reason why you would need to rotate the lid on your kettle, please leave a comment down below. If you have not already done so, smash the subscribe button for more videos from Mike's Man Cave. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.